Project Cars 2 is really the best kind of racing game sequel, one that's improved so meaningfully it's hard to go back to the previous installment. The handling is remarkable, the expanded track selection is unmatched and boasts dynamic time and weather on every one, the much improved car selection hits a whole host of fan favourite beats, and the sound is seriously stunning. For solo players there's an absolute ocean of content, and the multiplayer suite seems well poised to pick up where the original Project Cars left off. The new handling model here is a tour de force. On a wheel, it's brilliant from the feeling of being able to step the rear end out and still confidently arrest oversteer, to the feel of steering sharpening as your tyres come up to temperature. The sensation of grip is terrific, but so is the feel of it going away, which is way more linear and realistic. On a gamepad though, it's simply a different game to the first altogether. Straight out of the box, Project Cars 2 feels manageable and planted. It's a fraction more numb on turn-in compared to the one-to-one -one directness you get on a wheel, but the twitchiness of the first game is just gone. You can still finesse the settings to your preferences though, and if you're still having trouble on track, there's even a built-in race engineer that will suggest tuning changes based on the feedback you give it. It doesn't replace the ability to set up your car manually, but it is handy for cold trickle types who need a Harry Hog to do their car whispering for them. The massive career mode is similar to the first game, though it offers more freedom to choose the exact teams you want to race for and more events in general. This time around, the most prestigious series are locked until you earn a seat in them, injecting a better sense of purpose. Of course, if you prefer, you can go straight to the online mode, which now supports and tracks fully-fledged online championships and has dedicated broadcaster and director functionality built into it for budding esports types. But if you're like me, you may opt instead to lose whole days fooling around endlessly with the custom offline single player races. Here, you're basically a cross between the world's richest automotive aficionado and some kind of weather genie. Well, Alibaba had them 40 thieves, but did he ever have to race in the Dubai desert during a blizzard? This is Project Cars 2 at its wildest and wackiest. Part motorsport magic lamp, part Al Gore's personal climate change nightmare. The weather options are the cat's pyjamas. Puddles pool in real time as the rain hammers down and shrink when the sun comes out. Nothing about the tracks feels static. They're evolving little worlds, especially over long races, and it injects variety into the overall atmosphere. It helps, of course, that the huge track roster is simply the best on the market. And combined with a fantastic car selection, there's just so much game here. More than 180 cars, 9 motorsport disciplines, 29 motorsport series, 60 venues and 130 plus living track layouts straight out of the gate. Project Cars 2 is immense value compared to some of its more piecemeal peers. With the addition of Porsche, Ferrari, Lamborghini and Nissan, many of the car classes that were sparsely populated in the original Project Cars have been bolstered. The modern GT3 class is especially packed out. There are still some holes, but it's a great cross-section of recognisable modern and retro rides. Developer Slightly Mad has also done pretty well with the AI for all these vehicle types, although some classes I tested were really struggling taking first corners cleanly on certain tracks. Like its predecessor, Project Cars 2 is a great looking game, markedly so on PC and still quite handsome on console. I've occasionally had isolated incidents of frames dropping on console, and there are a few loose ends with a VR support on PC, with the default helmet cam triggering a fever dream of barf inducing double vision. <laughs> Days of chunder. Thankfully, this doesn't happen with the conventional cockpit view, and the VR experience is otherwise terrific once you switch to it. As nice as this game looks, though, it honestly sounds even better. My word, the audio is good. <laughs> All the whines, squeals, clunks and violence of the cabin of a real race car, plus those exhaust notes. Ooh lordy, listen to this jag. This is one of the road cars. You're allowed to drive this past schools and hospitals. The sound of this thing should only be available in opaque plastic bags from under the counter, because it is pornographic. Project Cars 2 plays like a pumped up version of the classic Toka Race Driver 3 from 2006, addressing many of the complaints levelled at the original. The handling has been tuned to a T, the content is excellently curated, and the amount of variety and racing available in it is delightfully daunting. 
Even if you don't care about the developer's eSports aspirations, there's still a mammoth solo racer here that's always ready to roll whenever you are. When I'm out on track, ringing 10 tenths out of my car against just the right AI level, one eye on the car ahead and the other on the clouds above, this is about as good as real racing gets right now. For more on Project Cars 2, check out our time-lapse footage of its incredible lighting and weather effects, and for more top-quality sim racing, check out IGN's review of F1 2017.